Welcome back today in our Sunday Spotlight. You may remember what it was like. You graduate from high school and you move on to a new phase of life. Well, one East Lime High graduate decided to make a movie about that transition. It's called Irish Goodbye. It's a 20 minute short film that Patrick Conaway is hoping will get some national attention. He joins me now in Studio A. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. It's cool to have you. You're an East Lime grad. I'm an East Lime grad. We're about 25 years apart. <laughs> but this film, I think, is something that everyone, whatever they did in life after high school, I think all of us kind of have that moment where you kind of look around and go, ooh, things are changing. Yeah. That led you to make a movie. It did, yeah. I really came up with the idea right after I graduated when I was talking with my friends and we were like, oh, we're not going to see each other anymore. This dynamic is completely changing. And I wanted to write like six distinct characters that had something that each audience member could relate to in a different way. And you have big issues. I mean, you have people who are dealing with death. You have somebody who's coming out. You have, uh, you know, big life decisions that are happening along with this transitional period. Exactly. And a lot of those were really close to home issues because the character, uh, one of them is named Bree. Her younger brother passed away. That character is based on my mom, who uh, her younger brother died in a car accident when he was 16. And so I saw how that uh, affected her and her siblings. And I wanted to touch on issues like that and the other character, Finn, who comes out and his family doesn't accept him. So things like that really come into play when you're in a big transition period of your life. And I always love that coming of age story. So I wanted to tell my own. All right, so I know it already had its big premiere at the Nanak Bay Playhouse. People can, we're gonna tell you at the end of the interview how people can go watch it, but we have two clips that you brought for us. One is from a big a party scene. Just kind of set it up for us, right? Yeah, so um, there's a bit of some tension going on about uh, where people are going next, what's going on. Uh, so our character, Joey, is just coming downstairs from the kitchen. All right, let's take a look. Have any of you guys seen my phone? Yeah, it's right there next to mine. Is everything okay? We heard a crash. Yeah, just burn my hands. Maybe you should sit down for a minute. I'm fine. It's your dad. Everything okay with you? Oh, yeah. He's probably just wondering when I'll be back at Grandma's. Sorry, darling. I know you wanted to spend more time with your friends. We'll make it up to you soon. Here, let me see. So you can see a, a tough moment there between those two characters. It's beautifully shot and put together. Um, all local, a lot of local people in there. Yeah, so my director of photography was Isabella Bogue, who not only went to East Lyme with me, but also goes to Ithaca now. Which so is where you go to college. Yes, exactly. And uh, so, so we have one more clip, and this one was one that required you all to get up very, very early, or stay up very late, depending on. Yeah, so we shot it at 4 a.m. Uh, sunrise at the Great Neck Beachfront. Um, we were trying to get the sunset, but because of the area we were filming in, it only worked if we filmed it at sunrise. So we had to get up for it. All right, very early. Take a look. The ocean is too damn big. It has most of everything. There's too much left to explore. And we've yet to touch its floor. Pretty cool, and uh, a lot of people recognize a lot of it filmed in this area. So yeah, we're exactly. All of it filmed in this area. Uh, I know you did East Lime Regional Theater stuff at the Playhouse. You did stuff at East Lime High School as well. Uh, what's next for you? Um, I'm going back to Ithaca, so I'll have a couple projects there. But uh, we actually formed our own production company, Latimer Brook Productions, based out of East Lyme. So I'm working on my next film for next summer uh, right now. And you want people, of course, to check this one out, and you're hoping it gets to a bigger audience. Is exactly. So we're going into uh, film festival productions right now. So we are asking people to donate to our GoFundMe so that we can pay for the entry fees, which are sometimes upwards of $50. And it gets really expensive, but we want to get it to as many people as possible. All right, we're going to put it up right now to give you uh, the information on how you can help that GoFundMe. Uh, if you want to learn more about Patrick, you can also read Christina Dorsey's great article in the New London Day. That's how I found it. Um, and it gives more information about the, you and about the project and about how people can watch. It's great stuff. Uh, I love seeing a local kid put something like this together. It was really great to watch. And it's, you know, what, 25 minutes? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 yeah. minutes. So you put it together, you watch for 20 minutes, and uh, you can say, hey, look, a, a local kid did something cool. <laughs> Patrick, thank you so much for being with us, and we hope it's a big success. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right, if you want to watch the film, you can point your cell phone. We got a lot of QR codes today. You can point your cell phone at the screen. There's a QR code there. You can also help Patrick to raise funds to enter the film into film festivals. There's a link there for that as well. We'll put all 
of it as well on our website, of course, WFSB.com. That is CT24 for this week. CBS Sunday Morning is, of course, coming up next. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll, of course, meet you back here in Studio A next Sunday morning.